Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today I'm going to uh, help a viewer out. This one is Chris. Uh, Chris sent me a picture of a Mitchell 300 spool and a spring. And uh, that's the click spring for the spool. And uh, Chris is asking, how do you go about installing that spring? You know, it's not that uncommon to, uh, to get a question like this. A lot of times folks will work on the spring assembly in any reel, not just uh, the 300. And uh, somewhere along the line, the spring will either shoot out or they will remove the spring or uh, some other issue will occur. And uh, when that occurs, they don't have a reference point and uh, they, you're stuck, right? And it's happened to me where I've spent hours trying to figure out orientations on springs and that that uh, either came in a, in a parts reel bag or something else. And so I thought I would help Chris out with that. Speaking of helping out, great segue. Thank you to all of our first responders and essential personnel, all of the people that are keeping us safe and out of harm's way during the pandemic. Our first aiders, our, all of our uniformed services, police, fire, EMT, uh, all of the essential service workers like the transit workers and the food delivery and the like. Thank you for everything it is that you're doing, trying to keep us normal in these not so normal times. Well, this is the spring. The spring is the click spring for the spool. This is the bottom of the spool. Well, how did we get there? So it's a Mitchell 300, but it applies to uh, a couple of different reels. But this is the 300. Got a, uh, a reel and you've got the spool. And the spool comes off by pushing that button in and pulling out on it. And that's, uh, that's kind of part one of the Mitchell 300. How did I get there story? So I'm going to leave that one on here. I have another one just for fun. I figured if I'm going to ruin one, I might as well just show you one that's not part of the reel at the moment. Not going to ruin it, don't worry. To service the spool, which includes the drag, you remove the drag adjuster knob. And you do that in a counterclockwise manner, kind of twirling it. That'll give you the underneath, and that'll give you the click mechanism, but also the, uh, the pressure mechanism for the drag washers. And the drag washers are in different configurations. This one looks like we just have have a street button. I'm kind of curious. I don't think we have the, the little pressure plate that goes on here. In fact, I know we don't have the pressure plate on here. So disregard the top end of this. But let's go underneath then. Here's your click ratchet. It's on the, the bottom of the spool. Again, the spool will pull up. Uh, the, the gear shaft will pull up. And that's what you're locking in on from a, um, a drag washer standpoint. As you press down on it, you're going to tie this in with the spool that's going to give you your drag pressure. This is going to lock in should have left that off, with the little tines that are on the axle shaft here. Maybe you can see it better this way, but there's some axle shafts have two, some have four. Don't worry if you only have two. Don't think that the other two have broken off. That's not the case. Some have two, some have four, depending on which Mitchell you're at. And this one's going to lock down simply by going on there and getting grabbed. So that's locked right now. And you need to push that button in. To remove it. Okay. So this is the click ratchet. It also serves as the uh, the extended um, pinion gear and it's going to serve as the uh, the drag post. Underneath then is that screw, uh, that spring that we've been asked about. We have a spring here that looks just like this. This one that the question came on. And you can see the orientation is like that. It's got the hook to the left side. It has that little hump that's going to go around the stud. And it has the trailing tag arm which is going to anchor itself against there. Well, let's get it out to show you how to get it in. Simply push up. That should free it, take the tension off this spring. I'm just going to use a screwdriver, and here we go. Now we've got that same spring, right, without the tension on. So how do you put it back in? Well, you just reverse the process. Anchor the one side, up, get the loop in that, center it over a stud, 
some some spools may have the two studs so just anchor it bend the back tail leg so that you can open up the little tag on that I'm hopefully I'm showing this okay yes I'm got it kind of pivoted here right open it up so they can get the tag leg and then you're just going to pull down on it like that so let's do that one more time just for fun I'm going to remove this so we can show you I have the tag I have the spring we're going to start by putting that on the one side approximating where the loop is bring the other tag end in under and just simply pull down with that so that's it that's your assembly point there next up you would take your click ratchet piece turn it so that you can get in under the click make sure that you've got that click if you didn't you misinstalled the spring this goes on and then of course as I mentioned earlier there is a let's see if we can get this one off this seems stuck not just tighten down an awful lot there's a, a tension spring in this spool here so let's just show you that to get it done properly so this is the washer we were or the tension spring we were looking for and the washer that goes underneath it. I know that's off camera so in this case this one would be on top like that to, uh, to provide the tension to press down on this washer. Some of these reels have the washer underneath right here on the post. So just check, make sure that uh, where your uh, washer is located and uh, act accordingly. So that's how you do it. That's the setup for the Mitchell 300, how to set the click spring on the spool. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, please like this. If you want to see more of these, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit the notification button. And um, that way you won't miss any of the videos that I post. If you're like Chris and you have a question on a reel, maybe you're, you're doing some kind of a repair and you've gotten stuck along the way, then uh, you can leave a question in the comments section. I do try to answer all of those questions. I, uh, to the best of my ability, there's some questions I just simply don't know the answer to. But if I can help you, I'll try to do that. And uh, the best way to do that is to leave that in the comments section. Finally, if you have a reel that needs to be repaired, well, I do that by mail. And if you, um, if you want to send a note to my email on the business card that follows, I will provide you with that reel repair information. So finally, just to reinstall this one, we'll show you one more time. You've played along. It's time for a quiz. I'm going to put that loop on the side wall, approximate the location of that loop, take the long tag end and put it under the lip like that, pull down, and you've set your click spring. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle wishing everybody a great day, great fishing, and please stay well, stay healthy, and stay watching.